Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play the new Archon Quest. Chapter 3, Act 1. The Forest of Change. So we're going to Sumeru finally. And doing the story. I already unlocked most of the map uh, on stream yesterday. So today I'm just doing the Archon Quest. Just Act 1. I heard Act 1 and 2 is long. So I'll just do Act 1 for now. I guess... Uh, I'll just walk through here because uh, <laughs> I wanna re 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 life this uh, area again. Speed of light, <clears throat> So this is the shortcut to Sumeru, I guess. Follow the unresponsive person. Oh yeah, we met a person who didn't reply to us. So we're gonna follow that person. Without letting her see us? I'm not sure, let's see. Huh? She just walked near that small waterfall and then suddenly vanished! She's there. Let's give another shot. Alright then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That's all. Oh. Hmm. What a lovely smell. It's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Hmm. Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad after all. <laughs> huh? Something's not right. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. Got to get out of here. Oh? Uh-oh. What just happened? Ah! Follow the voice. Wait, what the hell? Straight away. Oh, is this the tree of. Okay. I hear a voice. Straight away, eh? I did not expect this. Oh shit. Continue following the voice. Okay. What is going on?
starting out strong already and I think we're back This place. Uh, good question. Where are we? <laughs> Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gondarvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. Mm, My master and I Kali. found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. Oh, no. No things are necessary. I didn't do anything really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were Master unconscious. Master Tenari? Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. What's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you There's must Tanari. be careful with these. All right, I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry, Master. <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere <laughs> a little more visible. Like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful, right? Okay. This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farboat simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the <laughs> next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. How are you doing? Feeling better? Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It's it the sense of thingy. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, training particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. Oh. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. Hapasia. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. Spirit borneol. Okay. That incense typically has no effect on most people. But for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition. As you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Yes, we did see something. Hmm. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? Wh why hmm? Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move Amir. on and be sure to do as <laughs> I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Okay, so it's Tainari. I thought it's Tainari. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gondarvaville for further <laughs> observation while Why? you recuperate. Further observation? 
Yeah, we need to get to some area. No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your um... mental state is not in the best of shape. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. What's that? Oh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals in hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Uh, right then. Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. I don't know about this. <laughs> Seriously, we just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, mm -hmm. but you really don't look too good. <clears throat> Recover first. Uh, hey, are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here it's worrying weird, yeah. about you, you know. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? I don't think it was hallucination. You mean the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those were hallucinations, what could they be? Not sure. When I saw the vision, it felt as if I was standing on the ground, but the red sky could have been Kanya. Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If you misjudge your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? He probably wasn't telling us the truth. Probably. Now we're getting Kali. <laughs> Come on, it's time to go find Kali. Find Kali, all right. Oh shit, we have these. I see the map. So Gandharva village, a eh? oh, village vill. All right. <coughs> all right. Next, let's see. Right hand. Yes. Not bad, but please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one. So you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Yeah! Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gandharvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. Alright, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tenari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh... That doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger is responsible. 
responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, hmm. and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Okay. Paimon, traveler, this way. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Um, we're going here. Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. The lamps. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. No problems with this lamp. Good. <laughs> and go to the statue of the seven. The statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Kinda will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas. Um, Can I just tell you what? I already Kame, unlocked it. <laughs> do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The old and new Archon. Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh! Vata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her the works provided Samuel. a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred Samuel years ago. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let Lesser. her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh... Uh... I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Mm, yeah, no, right? I'm from Sumeru. Uh... What? Messages to Emperor. Right. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But 
Ah, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really, I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Delata or the Sanctuary of Suristana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. Mm -hmm. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? The journey. Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right. We have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. Well, you two are up there cleaning. I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. All right. I'm at the top of the rock. Can I just teleport? <laughs> right. I just have to reach the statue, right? Oh, I can just... I have that thing. Okay, <laughs> then never mind. <laughs> about uh, how she looks like Kusanali we kinda know <laughs> the name does seem to fit the statue somehow hmm well anyway we'll have to figure that out later let's get started on cleaning the statue Pyman will fly up and take care of the top and you clean everything below okay now what? Let me see if I have any extra... Oh, yeah, I have 10. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down. I mean, Let's take a little break. <laughs> we have Brought that thing. <laughs> you can just swing up. <laughs> Yay, food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. <laughs> Xiangling taught Paim on that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Peter Pockets. Peter I hope pockets. you'll like them. Uh, wh whoops! Ah, no! You dropped it on the ground! Hello. <laughs> Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. <laughs> oh. I nearly had a heart attack there. The pitas. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. I wouldn't have been able to sleep at night <laughs> knowing something so tasty had been wasted. You really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy <coughs> moments, too. Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale... Don't you think that Tainari is a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but <laughs> he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... 
to do. <laughs> Go back then. Ha! Huh. Traveler, you've returned. No, sweet. Until 8 o'clock the following day. Hey, sad things. Wrong button. So far, already half an hour. <laughs> condition she's not well to put it simply she's not well uh -oh. you mean she's sick how could she be <coughs> oh wait a minute could it be because of what paimon did yesterday no 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 need to worry <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her <laughs> something as small as uh, this sickness is something that kale has been dealing with for some time kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived a little too much so, to be honest. 
She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking right. her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Shh! Kale's asleep! Let's come back once she's feeling better. <laughs> okay. Of you. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. <laughs> I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because, well, because Kale asked me to. Okay. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. Oh, she's gonna reveal her past? But, she insisted. Saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Is this really gonna mix with the manga? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying! You lose control? Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However... There is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui oh, after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you're already <laughs> familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger the known doctor. as the Doctor. Dottore. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful. But her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. That's why. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon. Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, 
I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too oh, much so for that's her now. <sighs> Alright, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. Alright, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. Okay. No problem. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's My often used to help those Tyler. afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Must be known. Hey, Kainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gondarvan. I'll do that later. Hmm. Given the name. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully mature, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. No, goodbye, man. Never bring up the topic of flowers with <laughs> There's a lot of blue stuff in the map. I wonder what that is. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. Four of them, eh? We'll rendezvous so. here once you've gathered the needed amount. Four... Uh... Nine para lotuses. Okay, all four of them are here, actually. <clears throat> hey, Tainari! We found the lotuses you requested! Let me take a look. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Amir. Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. Didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Okay. We have to see what we're Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. Oh, okay, I remember the withering. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry. I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Why don't we just help out? Wait! Kainari! Yeah. Why don't you let us help you? You two 
who have only just arrived in Sumeru, you're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. <laughs> There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru <laughs> rainforest. It's called the withering. I've seen some while exploring yesterday. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate I mean, elements, we don't will be able to vision, resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. So very special. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, yes. you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Let's go. <coughs> go to the withering zone. All right. Um, just in case. I probably need some. Gonna be epic. Heal just in case. I mean, I have food. <laughs> Let's see, uh, is that the place? Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. Tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Okay. Thank you. But I must warn you. Don't push yourself. <laughs> this is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. First time, yeah, yeah. First time. <laughs> Actually, not first time. Is Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. Are right. you ready then? Let's go. Let's do it. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Oh boy. There it is. Let the Dogana and attack the withering branches with charge attacks. Okay. I need more than. Oh, uh, wait. That one on top here. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tomb. Okay, but whoa, 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 whoa. Gotcha. Terminate. Uh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Is there more? Let's light it up. Quietly now. Huh? 
Okay, no. This one. Mm. Gotcha. Let's light it up. Don't blink. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. Okay, now we can destroy it. Destroy to me. There we go. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant war work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. So the withering is not just there, then you clear it, it'll be gone. It can come back again. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Soul before? Is Soul that tree we see or something? That's what I thought it was. Ermansoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Oh. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, lines, right? Yes. They're like the roots of Ermansoul, spreading and extending Ermansoul. from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. So all the ley lines are the roots of Ermansoul. Yeah. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin Soul. Look at the water. Or Kusanami, or both. And whose voice was that we heard? And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right. That's enough okay. on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarbaville. Turn back. Uh, why is there no waypoint just to go there? <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> I got a uh, androculus. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. <gasps> Wait, is that? Hmm? Oh no, Hapasia! What happened? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? 
She's the scholar you and Paimon were following oh, when you first arrived okay. in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression <laughs> on your face? Uh, just let Paimon on? read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gundarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. Okay. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, yeah. wait, how did you know <laughs> like all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, <laughs> the but will incense. the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? No unusual feelings this time. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, what I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you yes, were unconscious? Yes, actually, they weren't hallucinations, right? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. <laughs> Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any yeah, so secrets what from was you. It that we saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Oh. Uh, that sounds nice and all, okay, but, but will she really <laughs> help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last well. time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, okay. wait here for a moment. Um... <laughs> It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Okay. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. A letter to Hypatia. Alright. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. 
Oh. oh, she's there. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is coming. What the heck is that? Huh? Hold on. What just happened? Hypatia, are you all right? <sighs> so hungry. <coughs> Eat water. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait, why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? What just happened just now? Suddenly foggy, go through the mist. Um, I... This doesn't look good. Huh? How things out here end up looking like this? What happened? And where are we? Uh... Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. The map doesn't look the same now. Well, we're not we're not here anymore. <laughs> Proceed onward and go through the tree hollow. An an illusion. Door of resurrection. A chest. Lock chest there. Wow! This place is huge! How to get to the special I cave? I knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Okay, but... Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> no, how do I get up? Okay. Bouncy mushrooms in domains. Did I just uh Don't play. Wait, can you <laughs> Oh can I this one cannot okay. Oh I see. There's probably hidden chests here and there. That was just one. Okay, what, was, what was there? Oh, this is where we were, okay. So to go there. There's something up there. Okay. 
already one hour in. <laughs> Primeval Rosin Collect 3 Primeval Rosins within this domain to unlock the corresponding path Okay Um, where's the jump? Oh Okay Oh, I need three of those. Two. Okay. What is the chest there? Go up there. Oh, I see. Speed of light. What? I don't think I can find the other two here. So let's just go here. Oh, investigate the queen room. Oh, what the hell are we in Inazuma? Why are we suddenly in Azuma, like Kazuha Domain again? Um, yeah, this is... What the hell? What's going on? We're getting Kazuha flashbacks again. And the chest. Where are we here suddenly? Huh? Keep looking for a path to the upper level of the tree hollow. Oh, we're back here. What the hell? Is this water? Yep. Oh, second one is here. Okay. Oh, we're back. I see. So I think this is another illusion. Oh. oh boy. Hey, hold on. 
Oh no, I don't want to go up yet. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go back down? God damn it. Can I go back later? Oh god damn it, I missed the chest. What do you mean to teleport wherever that was? Um Where am I? Oh Hold on. I'm not supposed to go there. Oh, that's where I was. Okay. Can I go back down? Is it this way? I need that chest. <laughs> oh. This was the wrong way. Where was it? Was it here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was here. Yeah, okay, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, now we can go. Wherever this took me. <sighs> so I think we're like in a dream. Some kind of dream. What are these? Oh, okay, never mind. Speed of light, hey! Wait, was it this way? Oh. So now we're supposed to go there, okay. Are we out of there? Oh boy, where are we now? Investigate the courtyard far down the corridor. Where are we? Are we we're back in this in Azuma domain again? Why is that? Yeah. This place is getting weirder by the minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. Is it just me or our color is different? So we're back by Kazuha Domain again. <laughs> Kazuha Domain flashback. Yes. Yeah, this is in a sumo. Wait, is that a hidden chest again? Just checking. Yeah, we have this door again. Oh, damn it. Wait, where, where was it again? Oh. Oh, oh, I see. Let's get the corridor on the other side. Oh, what? It's a picture now. It's a lift. Okay.
Why are we getting this kind of flashback? Go to the upper platform. Okay, we're back. Um, okay. Wrong one. Oh, who's that? Is that for two or something? Oh, what? Well, well, a hero. Looks like we meet again, traveler. Ah, the Abyss Herald! What are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place. Plotting. <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Hmm? What do you mean? Defeat. Okay, here we go. Propagate! Germinate! Don't blink! Good? Nowhere to hide! Oh. Gotcha! Oh, shit. Going down. What the hell? Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? Yeah. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Your sister. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Mm -hmm. Her highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! What the hell? And we're awake again. Oh, we're back here. That was a dream. What was all that just now? It feels like I was dreaming for a moment. She was there the entire time. Oh, so sweet. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Huh? Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. <laughs> we can put that to good use. So some water for juice, okay. What the heck just happened just now? Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Oh, 
Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hypatia. Kainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. Okay. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, that was well, us. actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All neighbor. the fruit was likely from my, yeah. uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? The, the cabbage. Oh? <laughs> so you're able to see them too? Yeah, we were like dreaming. Wait, hold on a second, traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a, a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Okay. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding. And my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to see Sounds me. like a great neighbor. Yes, no doubt about that. <laughs> By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... Well... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. There are specialties after all. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest... The last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Are we gonna pass the food? Yep. Make some food. Oh, we have to make some food? Oh, can we just pass the food we have? From box lunch from the table. Okay. Can we take the food behind? <laughs> Are 
Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delicious. Okay, just submit. Yeah, connecting with Ermin's soul. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit borneal for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. Hmm? You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin's soul? The ingredients used to make spirit borneal primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Ooh. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermin's soul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermin's soul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm, makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Borneal would cause adverse effects. Not to worry though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit borneal should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile mm -hmm. so long as I could connect with Ermin's soul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main oh, area of research is the stars and their connection the to the fate of living <laughs> beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry sky, which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. Or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! Okay. So knowledge from Ermin's soul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hapeja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, <laughs> I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, oh, is that true? Yes, well, to an extent. Children can. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Oh, that's why they don't dream. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. 
Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia. But then, Oops. on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've <laughs> lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermensul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. World, forget me. Oh, even she what could it. that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. <laughs> uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> now that we know Hapasia is all right and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gandharvaville. We're still at Gandharvaville. We haven't went to Sumer City yet. <laughs> Heading out, I see. If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Hold up. Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, I doubt they were able to control the actual contents of the dream. The end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Perhaps there's something that's troubling you deep inside? Not to worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle whatever comes your way in the real world. As someone from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever worry about nightmares. But lately, I've started to feel that I'm somehow missing something without dreams. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask Ermansoul. about, Sumeru researchers use Spirit Borneal to assist them in connecting with Ermansoul to extract knowledge from it. Though the process can be risky, we believe that the knowledge gained is worth it. Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. At least not yet. I'm still learning how to attune to the depths of Ermin Soul myself. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life and gain deeper insights. Heading out, I see? Satyavada is at If there's level. anything else you'd ever like to ask about, I've heard local <coughs> children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. But I'm from Sumeru City, and have never heard of such things when I was a child. Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. My parents would seldom allow me to play with other children. I doubt they'd ever believe me if I told them about my little neighbor out here. And speaking of my little neighbor, I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit me. I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees, they'll suddenly tense up and scamper away for no apparent reason. Shortly after they do this, Tainari always shows up here. Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I see him. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else, you take care. Do remember to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Okay. If only people who dreams can see them. That means it's like imaginary friends. Isn't it? <laughs> oh. Hold on. Oh yeah, only one. Okay. Back to Gandharvaville. I have to go soon, so I better wrap this up. I don't know how long is Act 1.
Okay. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to uh, combat the, the effects academy. of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, Sage your Kajay. presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Finding a cure for Ermansul. Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kajay. I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. <laughs> they really want Tainari into the ac academia. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well... Do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. Akasha Terminal. It's a tool oh. produced by the Academia that utilizes <laughs> the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh, oh, but wait, before that... You say goodbye to Kali. That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kali before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Farewell, and good luck to you both. Already? <laughs> I'm saying goodbye already. Me, I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my 
duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. Hey. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? Bye, Andy. My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gondarraville. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gondarraville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Okay. Speed up a bit. Go to Sumeru, oh boy. Uh, before that, can we... Can we take this somewhere? <laughs> How far is... Okay, so we actually have to go all the way there. <sighs> How long is this uh, part gonna be, I wonder? Okay, so I think I'll continue the next part uh, next time. I have a feeling Act 1 is gonna be really long. This is already one and a half hours. I have to go in like... 5-10 minutes more so <laughs> yeah I think I'll continue next video so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching see you guys next time